This is Local 3 News at Noon. It is a busy weather day. Thank you for watching this half hour of Local 3 News at Noon. It is Wednesday, August the 10th. I'm Latrice Curry. We are continuing to track the flooding that's happening all across the Tennessee Valley. Now take a look at your screen and you can see what the roads look like from our Holiday Inn camera, our Mission View Ridge camera, and also our new traffic system. Now let's get straight to meteorologist Cedric Haynes, who is live here in the Storm Alert Center on the Storm Alert Weather Day to explain and talk about like how much more flooding we're seeing and also how much more rain we will get. Cedric. Yes, Latrice, I'll tell you what, we are seeing quite a bit of flooding out there. Flash flooding is ongoing or imminent in many locations here in the Tennessee Valley. What does that basically mean? It means that we've seen a lot of heavy rainfall. It's come down in a short period of time, and so that water has nowhere to go. You know, the water likes to soak into the ground, but once it gets too saturated, the water begins to run off, and eventually the runoff starts to build and you get the flash flooding. So that's what we're seeing. So let me give you the big view here and show you that pretty much most areas here are under a flash flood warning or near flash flood warning. And this goes throughout into the afternoon hours for most of us here. They have different ending times, but just know through the afternoon you need to take it uh, very carefully out there on the roadways. Give yourself plenty of space between you and the vehicle in front of you. And remember, don't drive through roadways that are covered with water. Of course, they're for two reasons. One, obviously your car will stall and you have other issues there. You can get stuck in the water, but number two, you don't know what's happening underneath the water. The roadway could get washed away underneath there and you drive right over it and all of a sudden you're driving into a sinkhole. So those are two things to keep in mind. So let's talk about where the heaviest of the rainfall is. Now we've been watching this shifting finally from Whitwell over towards the Dunlap area and is beginning to build towards the north. Now one of the biggest problems we're seeing this morning, there are really no big steering currents in the atmosphere. So these storms as they form, they don't just move in one direction. They're just kind of drifting or meandering around and that leads to that very heavy rainfall in a short period of time. We're seeing more rainfall covering places like Saudi Daisy over towards Udawa right along that 75 corridor. Of course, they have construction going on there, so that's adding to the flooding issues over towards Cleveland. And then we'll take you down to the south. Our friends in northwest Georgia, northeast Alabama also seeing that steady rainfall. The good news is not as heavy down towards the south, but still steady rainfall. But you guys picked up a lot of heavy rainfall a little earlier this morning. Totals just south of Dalton and Lafette, anywhere between that three and five inch range, which is why you have flash flood warnings ongoing down that way as well. Northeast Alabama, yeah, you're getting the rainfall as well. Stevenson, Jackson County, also are seeing some of that good rainfall. So we've got that deeper moisture building in across the area here, and that is pumping in the rain and the, the moisture there. We've got a front to the north and west that's helping to squeeze out all of this heavy rainfall, and that's what's leading to some of that flash flooding out there. So again, that's why you got to take it easy. We may even have a shot from uh, Thunder to show you. I'm not sure, but there may be a view. I know we have Thunder out there. And so we also have a rescue potentially out there on South Moore Road as well taking place, a water rescue. In fact, we can show you that right now. This is I-24 at Moore Road. The camera just moved, but you can see just off to the screen there, there was actually a water rescue occurring just a moment ago. Looks like we may go back over that way. There you can see it. And this is one of the issues you have. If you drive through the water there and you try to make it your way through, it doesn't matter if you have four-wheel drive, folks. If your car stalls out, there's nothing you can do. You're stuck in all this water and, of course, your car is not going to help you very much, so then someone has to come out in the water and rescue you there as well. So this is kind of the issue you watch. This is why we say turn around, don't drown. It's a number one thing. It's something that I know people kind of smirk at when they hear the saying, but there's a reason for that to help remind you that you don't want to catch yourself into a scene like this. This is a live water rescue occurring right now, again, on South Moore Road, and we'll probably see more of this happening here because water levels are going to continue to rise as we go throughout the afternoon. In fact, keep in mind that what we're seeing right now is a lot of flash flooding, meaning a lot of water is falling, so we're seeing that quick rise in the water and leading to this flash flooding, but later on today, all of this rainfall that has fallen across the Tennessee Valley, of course, it has to go somewhere, right? It has to flow into area creeks and streams and rivers, and that's going to lead to that potential of river flooding and uh, creek flooding down the line. So this is uh, kind of a two part flooding situation. Right now we're seeing the emergency flash flooding situation, and as we go throughout later today, we're going to have to deal with that potential of more significant flooding from our rivers and creeks and streams. So if you live by a river or a stream or something like that, that you know has a tendency to flood when we get flooding situations. No, this is time now to kind of think about and start preparing because these water levels across the Tennessee Valley will continue to rise as we go into the coming days. And I'm sure we'll see many more scenes like this. But again, as you can see, folks having to wade through that water, which is not good because obviously when you have water like this that's standing in certain areas, you don't necessarily know 
what's in the water as well. So this water that you can see is not only the rain that's fallen, but it's water that's coming by from nearby areas. So there's obviously trash and debris in this water, but there's also that potential that there could be other things in the water as well. So you don't want to find yourself wading through this water and being in this water too long here. But again, there you see emergency crews now on their way to try to uh, to help these folks out here. And as you can see that that truck there continues to see the water levels rising around it as well. So uh, again, never a good thing. Always remember, turn around, don't drown. But this is a, a situation. This is what we mean when we say a flash flooding situation, an emergency situation, because again, these folks are out driving. That water level came up on them pretty quickly and they found themselves in this uh, situation here. So that is something that you're going to want to remember. And then a third thing I would add to this is keep in mind that when you have power lines and things like that, that kind of fall or come down in this type of a situation, that can add to another danger because now you've got high water, you've got power lines down, you have debris in the water. There are a lot of dangers with this, folks, so just kind of keep that in mind as we look at this. But again, this is a uh, live water rescue happening there on Southmore Road here. And of course, we'll keep an eye on this and we're monitoring other cameras across the area as well. Uh, but it is a treacherous wet day out there, folks. So if you can hold off on any traveling for the next few hours, I would definitely do that. Uh, but uh, as you can see, Latrice, this is uh, definitely being uh, fairly dangerous for a lot of folks there. And and the radar is still filled with rain, so it's not like it's going to stop raining anytime soon. So keep this in mind. Yeah, can you just stay right there? I have yeah, the clicker yeah. right now. And okay. can we put back up the camera, the traffic camera, guys? So mm -hmm. we're going to show some of these other ones right now as well, mm -hmm. um, other areas. And I think, let's see, this should be moving right out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. All right, so again, this is the one, um, I-24 at Rossville Boulevard. Mm -hmm. And thank you, Allison Pryor's in here helping us as well. Yes. So uh, Cedric, and this is what we were talking about to that you can see look at that yeah. and, and Cedric talking about the water right there on the side you see that flooding mm -hmm. and if you could show and, and it's coming up on the road which is also causing trouble for travelers and cars trying to get right through that area as we kind of mm -hmm. watch and look as you see right there yeah so that's another thing in some of the other areas so that's I-24 at Rossville Boulevard and then of course mm -hmm. there is another one we're going to pull up and just kind of show you what some of the other areas and of course, anytime we talk about the rain, Cedric, we know mm -hmm. that that causes problems on the interstate, but this is I-75 Bonnie Oaks where they're doing construction on top of that with the rain. So we always tell people, you know, be yeah. careful out there when those roads are slick. And we're, so we're seeing lots of traffic problems out there in the interstate. Yeah, and you got to watch out, Latrice, as well, when you're doing this. Of course, as you mentioned, there's obviously the construction happening there on 75. So that's already kind of a slow go or almost a stop as well in a regular weather condition. So when you lose the visibility here, it kind of creates more issues there. Uh, but you can see the difference there from uh, on the west side over towards the east side. Yes, uh, there's still some heavy rainfall now falling on the east side there where we saw that kind of uh, a little little bit better, a little reduced rainfall there on the west side for now at least, but that could change later on. All right. Thank you, Cedric, there as well as we continue to monitor in this situation. Right now